Are you tired of using heavy and slower cameras for your shoots? Do you want to shift to mirrorless cameras but are stuck because you cannot decide which mirrorless camera is best for you? Don't worry, because in today's video, we will be talking about the top 5 best mirrorless cameras in 2021. As always, all the links to the products are in the description below. The products mentioned in this video are in no exact order, so be sure to stay tuned until the end so you don't miss anything. And now, let's get right into the video. On number 5, we have the Fujifilm X-T200. The body of the Fujifilm X-T200 is compact and light, weighing roughly 370 grams without the lens. When equipped with a lens kit, it's portable and convenient for vloggers and people on the go. The X-T200 has a classic style that is available in silver, dark silver and champagne colours. Your hands are free to move from behind the lens to in front of it. The camera's display is bright and clear, even in direct sunshine. It is one of the greatest displays in its class, despite its small size. The camera radiates elegance. Despite this, the camera's controls are evenly dispersed and easy to reach. The left side contains a tiny flash switch and customizable control wheel. Seen on the right side are front and rear control dials. The front dial has a shutter release in the center. Left of the LCD screen are the play and pause, drive and delete buttons. To its right are two configurable function buttons and a view mode setting. Menu, OK, display and back buttons are situated below the joystick for menu and setting navigation. One of its mini HDMI ports can connect to a TV. The Fujifilm X-T200 includes a new 24.2 megapixel sensor and a phase detection autofocus. Thanks to the enhanced sensor, even fast moving objects can be caught in full detail. However, sometimes your autofocus may not operate properly. Also, the sensor appears to be inadequate for night photography. According to Fujifilm, the X-T200 CPU is three times faster than its predecessors. Full resolution burst shooting at up to eight frames per second is possible. The X-T200 can also record a 4K video at 30 FPS but it only works slightly. Connect your smartphone to the camera through Wi-Fi. You don't have to remove the storage card to download an image. This app allows you to share photos via Wi-Fi. Even moderate use drains the camera's battery. It takes about 30 to 40 photographs and a few short clips to drain a completely charged battery. The battery can simply be recharged on the move using a smartphone charger thanks to the USB-C charging port. On number 4, we have the Sony A6000. Because of its still great performance and incredible value for money, the Sony A6000 remains one of the best mirrorless cameras for beginners. While its specifications have aged, there is still enough for most people's needs, and it's attractively affordable thanks to 6 years of price drops. The A6000 has a 24 megapixel APS-C sensor, which was state of the art when it was released in 2014 and only a few APS-C cameras have improved on it since then. The sensor includes 179 phase detection autofocus points and 25 contrast detection autofocus points for the hybrid AF system. Sony claimed the camera has the world's fastest autofocus among APS-C sensors when it first launched. While certain cameras have improved since then, it still seems incredibly responsive. The A6000 sports a tilting LCD screen and an electronic viewfinder on the back. The A6000 has built-in Wi-Fi and NFC, which is popular. The A6000 has a 16 to 50 mm power zoom lens. If you only want the body, you can use any of the new E-mount lenses. The A6000 is a dial and button fan's desire. Like other Sony cameras, it has controls that may be customized to your shooting style. However, with a larger lens, like the Sony 18-135mm, the A6000 becomes front heavy. The camera is very nice though. In automatic, semi-automatic or manual mode, one dial controls the shutter speed or aperture. Using custom buttons to set up the AF point on this camera would be faster. Make the focus area flexible spot to speed things up. To choose a focal point, push the button in the middle of the camera's scrolling dial then navigate the screen with the arrow key. Even though it isn't touchscreen, the screen tilts to help with crazy angles or glare reduction. The viewfinder is clear. In terms of resolution, the 1.44 million dot EVF isn't high-end, 
but it worked, and obtaining one on an APS-C mirrorless camera is a bargain. Its 11 FPS continuous shooting speed is fantastic. Turn on the camera's lock on AF to keep an eye on your subject. The focus system kept moving subjects in focus, even in circumstances with several peripheral subjects. The Alpha 6000 is a Wi-Fi camera with NFC pairing for convenient phone and tablet connectivity. If your phone lacks NFC, you'll need to enter a password to connect to the camera's Wi-Fi network. You can use the Sony Play Memories mobile app for Android and iOS to transfer images. Even if this mirrorless camera's battery life isn't bad, bringing a spare battery on longer travels is advised. Next on our list is the Canon M200. The Canon M200 is a tiny mirrorless camera with a 24 megapixel APS-C sensor, a tilting touchscreen, and excellent autofocus. The Canon EFM mount is also used. It is an appealing prospect thanks to Canon's latest Digic 8 processing engine and the ability to record 4K footage. It's also designed to be simple to operate, making it a fantastic choice for novices. However, it could also be a wonderful choice for more experienced photographers looking for a little camera they can take with them everywhere they go. The Canon EOS M200 is designed to be approachable. There's a shooting mode dial and power button on the M200's top plate. Capture stills or video clips automatically or manually. The only other button on the top plate is a large springy shutter release enclosed by a control wheel with a softly roughened edge. In capture mode, we can use this to quickly navigate through menu options, and in playback mode, we can zoom in and out of photos. So far, so straightforward. Canon's on-screen menu and user interface is already some of the most user-friendly. Canon's EOS M200 has a flip-up LCD screen that can be rotated 180 degrees to face the subject for selfies or tilted to look down on it for medium format. The camera's body is made of plastic, making it lightweight and cheap. Despite its great quality, it lacks the durability of weather-sealed gear. Given its compact size, the Canon EOS M200 lacks controls and a rip. It's hard to shoot all day with a thin camera with no grip. The absence of grip reduces space and weight. The camera has vignetting, distortion, and a computerized lens optimizer built in. The weak flash may struggle to illuminate distant subjects or groups of subjects. The camera's ISO speed increases when using flash. The M200 records in 4K and Full HD. A Full HD video recording uses the entire sensor width until you enable digital image stabilization. Digital image stabilization is available in Full HD and 4K. It doesn't have HDR video mode, however, it does have a high dynamic range and a neutral visual style. 720p 120 100 fps video is also available. ISO 100 to ISO 6400 for 4K UHD video. ISO 100 to ISO 12800 for Full HD video. And ISO 100 to ISO 25600 for Full HD video. The Canon EOS M200 has decent Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connectivity. Once connected, the camera will stay connected even if the device is switched off. The battery lasts a pretty good amount of time. At number 2, we have the Canon EOS M50 Mark II. It's an attractive entry-level mirrorless camera for family photographers and snapshooters wishing to advance beyond a smartphone. In addition to the front-facing touchscreen, the mirrorless design and compact lens kit make it ideal for travel. The camera is small. In place of an optical viewfinder, it has an APS-C sensor of the same size as SLRs. A lens is not included in the price of the camera. The 15 to 45 mm adds 4.6 ounces and 2 inches to the body. With a soft leather wrap and a finger rest indentation, the hand grip is rather nice. Canon places all physical controls on the right screen. The shutter release is angled on the hand grip next to the camera's single control dial. With confident clicks and a rough girl texture, the dial is easy to detect by feel. The M50 has manual aperture priority, shutter priority, and scene modes. Creative shooters can employ in-camera filters, or Canon's hybrid auto mode, which combines stills and video. The dial also offers a manual video setting. 
The exposure lock and autofocus area choose controls are outside the thumb rest at the top rear corner. In auto mode, the M50's touchscreen allows you to access creative filters, color options and lens settings for blurred backgrounds. The 3 inch LCD articulates allowing it to lock in any direction. It's wonderful for selfies and interesting views. It's bright by default, but you can increase it to reduce glare. The camera also has an eye level viewfinder. Canon's M50 has a 2.4 million dot viewfinder. The M50 has an in-body flash, which is rare among enthusiast cameras. It has a manual hinge and a little side grip tabs. The camera features Canon's dual pixel sensor, which can provide eye detection and tracking capabilities for both stills and video. It tracks moving subjects in both photos and video. In 4K, only contrast detect AF is possible, which slows down autofocus. The M52 delivers the same 4K recording capabilities as its predecessor, including 3840 by 2160 resolution footage at 25 fps and 4K time lapse recording, which preserves movie still. In 4K mode, the M52 inherits the hefty 1.56 crop, which rises to 1.75 with digital image stabilization and 2.26 with advanced IS, making it a 4K camera just in name. In addition to the movie self timer, the M52 now offers a virtual recording button on the touchscreen. It allows you between 2 and 10 seconds to get in front of the camera before it starts recording. The original M50's 24 megapixel sensor is flawless, so using it in the Mark II was a smart move. It produces clear photographs. Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are included. The M50 Mark II is compatible with the Canon Camera Connect app for Android and iOS. It also has a remote control and a live view feed on your phone. It has an LPE12 rechargeable battery. On a single charge, it can shoot 305 shots with the rear LCD and 235 with the EVF. On the top of the list, we have the Olympus OMD EM10 Mark IV. The Olympus OMD EM10 Mark IV is the company's latest retro styled mirrorless camera. It has a stabilized micro four thirds picture sensor, shoots 4K video, and has creative filters built in. While not as powerful as others, it is a good entry-level camera. The camera's large dials in black or silver give it analog vibes. The body alone weighs 13.5 ounces. It sells alone or in a kit. There includes 5-axis stabilization and pop-up flash, which is no longer found in enthusiast and pro models. Beginners can use automatic modes, but Olympus doesn't oversimplify it. At the top dials are three configurable control buttons on the right. The digital teleconverter, record, and AEL buttons can all be modified. The dials are elevated and easy to turn, despite the proximity of the buttons. The rear controls aren't as versatile, but the specified button functions work. There are also on-screen controls. Press OK on the rear D-pad to access a basic left side menu. The arrow button in the top plate's far left corner reveals a full screen overlay menu in detail. Like other versions, it flips under the camera instead of out to the side. Due to this, it's a little harder to hold for selfies. There's also an eye level viewfinder. The OLED EVF is large enough with 0.67 magnification and has a 2.4 million dot design. To see framing grids, exposure settings and other details, turn on overlay information. When the camera is set to B&W, the viewfinder turns to a monochrome view that can be magnified for manual focusing. One of the most significant new features of the Olympus OMD E M10 Mark IV is the addition of a 20 megapixel live MOS sensor. The E M10 series now matches the 20 megapixel sensor of the E M5 and E M1 series. Continuous AF precision has also been improved for moving subjects. Face and eye priority autofocusing can now focus on faces in profile or looking down, allowing users to create great pictures even from unexpected angles. It has four shooting modes that are auto, scene, advanced, photo, and art filter. For beginners, the advanced mode simplifies challenging shooting techniques like panoramas and HDR. The Mark IV keeps the 4K video capabilities of the Mark III, but adds a 180 degree tilting LCD panel for self-facing video filming. 
the EM10 can record 4K at 24 or 30 FPS, or 1080p at 120 FPS. All existing photographic color profiles and art filters can be utilized for video. Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are included. The OI Share app for Android and iOS works with the EM10. The app supports image transfer and remote control. The EM10 Mark IV uses the BSL50 rechargeable battery. It has a good battery life for a mirrorless camera. 360 photos can be taken before the next charge. Recharging it with a micro USB port is possible, but buying a spare battery is advised. That's all for today's video. Let us know your experience with these mirrorless cameras in the comment section below. I hope that you found this video helpful, and if you do, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like below, and I'll see you in the next video.